Welcome back, Firebirds. We are here on my favorite night of the week, but not for Rocket League right now. Right now, we've got Valorant starting off. We'll be playing against Concordia, the Golden Bears here. I believe it is Concordia University, Nebraska, as we're playing against. Oh, wow. Not Wisconsin, as they are the <laughs> Eagles. Uh, plenty of Concordia University all over. Uh, right now, we're still working on getting some actual visuals on the game for us. You guys might be able to... Uh, to see it right now, uh, we're waiting on it still. Oh. We will get it to you in a second as uh, we're just waiting for our stuff to boot up. We're having a bit of a technical difficulties as we gave our ever so amazing director, Kevin Palmer, his day off today for his birthday. <laughs> it's not actually a day off. He's speaking at a conference today. But happy birthday, but nonetheless. happy birthday to Coach Palmer <laughs> as we wait for the game to start up. I'm hearing plenty of gunfire. I'm hoping the Firebirds are winning. There's a KO on someone's team. <laughs> I heard the flash. So someone's playing KO. My guess is the Tappy Samoyed playing KO. I would hope so. Uh, <laughs> one player left. Spike has been planted. Oh, Jet Dash. Jet Dash. Oh, and it looks like it's the next one. Oh, I can kind of see it in the I reflection. I can see it in the reflection <laughs> of the TV screen onto the monitor that we use. Well, um, before all that, we have, uh, for our maps this evening, we have Ascent, Icebox, and Breeze, if it comes down to our final map. We'll all be on defense, so it's going to be a wicked good time. Yeah, and uh, if things start to go a little too long, you will see Toner starting a little bit of solo casting going oh, on. Oh, no. Because I do have a Rocket League match coming <laughs> Oh, later. no. I don't want to be alone. <laughs> so we'll see what happens there. Oh, we're starting to get a little bit of visual here. We might might be able to help you guys out in a minute. <laughs> uh, So, Toner, uh, currently the Firebirds are, what is it, I believe 3-1 and one on the season? I, I believe so. 3-1 and one on the season. They are hoping to go to 4-1 and one to give them a really good spot heading into the final stretch before playoffs. Oh, hey! hey. We can see some gameplay now. There it is. All right. <laughs> so, for the Firebirds, we have Bunny on Killjoy. Someone playing Jet. I believe Kaleoth is on Fade. I believe uh, we have, not Kaleoth, oh. we have Flumdank on Brimstone and Happy Samoyed indeed on KO. And with that, round two will be going to Concordia. So it looks like we haven't been doing the best on defense, but it's still very early on. And now it is time for the real guns to come out. Yes, true. <laughs> the Firebirds are able to full by this round, so this is the bonus round for Concordia, who is the attack side. Uh, they're just going to try and make the most of this as they make the most of it as they right can there. here. As the Firebirds set up a full five-person split, uh, they're starting to weigh down. So Jet will watch mid, and we'll put three on A instead. Firebirds. Get guessing a little way. bit incorrectly, though, as it seems like Concordia mm -hmm. will be pushing through mid and B main. As Coney left alone to watch uh -oh. it and has been spotted. Coney will have to back off and give space now and almost gets taken out there by the opposing jet. Ooh. And he's able to dash away. Eight bullets left. Bunny gets a pick on Cookie Dough. <laughs> Cookie Dough. <laughs> and Coney will follow up with a pick on Big Z, but Vista will get slum dank in the process. Firebird's up in numbers right now. They've got two left to beat as Coney will take out CSP Volo as well. And it looks and like the Concordia is backing off just a little bit. And they, they, they do have to retrieve the spike as it was dropped by Omen in the uh, in B main. And not the best spot either. That is a really tricky position. No one quite able to grab it yet. Oh, oh and there they have it. They're able to get it and immediately Chamber is running away. He's trying to fake that the rotation's happening. We, it's going to cause... Uh, Kaylee off to move back to A site. Tony can't quite oh. land the shot. They're quickly coming back. But is able to immediately pull off the next one. Re regroups and gets the headshot on Vista. <laughs> With a little jingle. That's oh. it off. The four piece there for Coney to finish off round three to get the Firebirds their first point. Yeah, with that, it looked very fluid. They knew where to go. A little bit scary. Coney, uh, mid, I thought that the jet was going to take him out, but very nicely done. Kept their ground and pulled up a really good round. For sure. The Firebirds, depending on Coney that round, he's going 4 and 2 right now. Bunny also 4 and 2. Uh, Coney, I believe, bought a rifle so that they could ult 
and uh, therefore still everyone has a rifle and the economy is still in not the worst spot in the world as they didn't have many casualties that round that's a great peek there by Ooh. Coney. Uh, going for an off angle that most people don't usually see. We'll get blocked though in market. Uh, that's going to allow for a full five man push Ooh, by here. the Golden Bears here. Barbara's trying to go in and just taking space. A little bit tough to do so. Spike planted. Now the Firebirds having to play retake here in round four. And that's a great happy Samoyed pick there. And it also Ooh. helped with the fragment grenade. Fire nice. Samoyed allowing. Oh, geez. Interesting here. Kaleoth now left as we had an all out bloodbath going on. There we go. The headshot and clutch up for the Firebirds, though. <laughs> what a retake. Absolutely a great retake. You know, almost completely shut down by the mm -hmm. Golden Bears that were waiting in B main behind that smoke because they were able to just swoop in the moment the Firebirds tried taking point. But that grenade, putting it down there, that was really well done by that. I think it was Happy Samoyed's yes. grenade. That was... Wow. Big, yeah, it, big bought, it bought the space for uh, <laughs> Coney to be able to move across and get to point, mm -hmm. which allowed the Firebirds to have an offensive threat from all angles. Coney, you got to get the operator now <laughs> to watch down mid. Excited to see that play. And it looks like there's going to be a few targets going that way. Yeah, Firebirds on a full buy here. And there's one. There's the first pick as the Omen smoke just wasn't quite timed up enough. Ooh, look at that skin. There's a one-way creative for Happy Samoyed here. Coney gets That's another two. pick. And three. Happy Samoyed gets the third. As now it's a 5v2. You know, it's this is really the best case scenario for the Firebirds here because they got to be sure that they're winning the rounds they're supposed to win. Mm -hmm. And right now, the Golden Bears are on a full save scenario. They bought, I think, light shields and sidearms only. So right now, any pick is pretty much a victory for the Golden Bears this round. So I'm very, I'm very impressed with how the Firebirds are playing this one. Ooh, careful. There we go. Flick there by Coney <laughs> to take out Goosey. Last one is Jet playing very passively. Yeah, Firebirds doing a great job of not getting too aggressive here. They now have the positioning figured out. There we go. Flawless victory for the Firebirds as they will now take the lead in the series 3-2. Very nicely done. <laughs> Nothing too much to say there except Coney with those amazing, amazing flicks with the op. That, that's just, that's just go gameplay. <laughs> Textbook right there for a jet. Uh, Firebirds. Didn't lose a single person, so their economy is going to be looking great after this mm -hmm. round, win or lose. This should allow for the uh, Golden Bears to possibly, I believe, have a little bit more money to work with. Yes, they will be able to full buy. So, even playing field for both teams here. Just going to see who executes better this time. And a very nice split push by Concordia. But now those three are rotating from B side. With yeah. As Goosey was able to use their utility to take out Kaleoth and give the numbers advantage to the to the Golden Bears. Firebirds once again in a scenario where it's possible to retake. The only the only plus side for the Firebirds is that the Golden Bears did not have Spike with them when they took the point. Oh dear. Spike planted. This is gonna leave plenty of time for the Firebirds. Especially with the Killjoy Ooh. ult now, it's gonna have to drag them out. And as oh, we all out, we oh. have a meeting after pick from Bunny and Slumdeck. And there, there we go. is the wall bang by Slumdeck. Firebirds executed beautifully. You gotta wonder a little bit what were the Golden Bears thinking with swinging in pretty much a line toward yeah. the uh, toward the ultimate. You get that it has to be taken care of, but. I just think there was a better execution that could have happened. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, the Firebirds take advantage. There was a lot of time to be said, and, you know, just trying to get to a safer position might have been well, but I'm surprised they didn't go B. Oh, and with that, a timeout starts. I think that's... I think that, you know, I'm, I'm excited to see how this plays out because I think this is a bit of an early timeout. Mm -hmm. I usually think once the lead is by four, that's where I would call a timeout. But, you know, maybe if this is what they need, maybe if the coach has already figured out what's going on here, yeah. what the answer should be, uh, I mean, maybe the Golden Bears turn it around right yeah. here. I, I'm very interested to see the outcome of the next round after this timeout.
For sure. And I mean, just trying to get that out uh, because that was four rounds in a row so far for the Firebirds. Just trying to get that momentum and cut it down. I think that's that that would be a good play here. But I do agree with you. Just I'd, I'd give it a little bit more distance in between. But I, I uh, going back to the last round, I found it interesting that three were pushing B site and all the noise was being created on A site. I, I would have just played yeah, right I... then and there. It, it is interesting that the choice was to rotate there, especially mm -hmm. when the spike is toward B. Uh, maybe they felt like they really had the advantage on the Firebirds there, but I feel like using an ultimate to take a sight, that's going to draw a lot of people away. Oh, yeah. Ultimate usage draws a lot of attention. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what that timeout did for the uh, Golden Bears here as we head into round seven. It looks like only one is buying a rifle. And got, a, got a sheriff and... Uh... It was. Oh, Tony finishing off <laughs> the moment Vista Ultimates shows that there's a bit of an op diff there from the Firebirds as they go up early. Tony backing off a little bit, getting into a nice little position. Oh, and there goes the de Oh, dear. Bolo is able to take out Bunny and Happy Samoid will go down to Big Z there. Planted. Firebirds now gonna play a bit of a retake with a numbers disadvantage. Nice. nice pick though by Coney. He's gonna switch out for the Phantom. Very smart play, I think. Oh. Interesting how that doesn't actually go onto the Omen there. I, I could have sworn that that would have been an easy pick on the Omen with that dog uh, blinding them, but apparently it didn't go to him. Now it's left to a 1v1 between Slumdang, who's able to not even be revealed. Interesting. Firebridge is going to try and stick it. Oh, oh, Cookie Dough is able to clutch up. So ultimately, it does work out in favor of the Golden Bears after the timeout. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was that's what they needed right there. And just pushing B and just staying strong there. Just a good tactic and great execution. Firebirds setting up the same defense. With Coney watching mid, I think Coney should have still been able to buy another operator. We'll see in just a second. Cookie dough flexing that new knife, the Karambit. <laughs> Distracts me too much. Oh, I know. Too fun to watch. Same with the butterfly knife. Too expensive, all... though. <laughs> Everything in this game is too expensive. For a free game, it's so, so expensive. Coney did get oh, an operator. No. <laughs> Firebirds have access to four of their five ultimates. They should be set up to do well this round. And with Happy Samoyed getting another first blood, it's going to help. Looks like Concordia is going to space out a little bit more. That smoke's going to fall. Funny Tony way. doesn't see Jet on the other side of it. Interesting Where when that Jet finally peaks. Sight. No awareness of that Jet coming in. Ooh. There we oh, go. Oh, and Coney's able to get another pick before the omen smoke goes down. You gotta start to think that maybe the Firebirds... Oh, dear. Not the Firebirds. The Golden Bears need to coordinate a little better on those smokes on when they're going down because they're peaking angles just a hair too quickly. And they're getting easy picks oh, put on dear. them because of it. Open up the sky. Great ultimate to stall that. Kaleoth has to be able to check that corner real quickly. Oh, but the fade ultimate's probably gonna take oh but Ow! It's gonna be a tough 2v2. 2v2 now. Oh, and Omen is at a sliver though. Oh! Smelled the util coming out. But Slumdang could still clutch it up. He's got eight bullets left. Molly goes out. Interesting. Oh, here. come on, gotta push it. Oh. Couldn't quite get the flick there as Goosey will clutch up for the Golden Bears, tying up the series at 4-4. Four to four. Very nice. Going into round 9, this is this is starting to get kind of interesting. Two ults were used there by the Firebirds. None so far uh, by Concordia and having a Sova in the back window. This, uh, this is getting really interesting. Yeah, Toner, I gotta ask what you think the difference maker was in that timeout. What do you think uh, Concordia switched up since that timeout that has allowed them to just go for two, three straight. I think pacing. 
pacing is always a big thing in this game and then pushing at the right time is uh oh there it goes i it just makes all the difference in the world now they're doing a little bit of a quicker push oh, oh just can't quite get the pick there oh Tony, that gets taken out through the smoke firebird stuck in a very tough 3v5 spot especially on a save round Almost. Happy Samoyed tries to get the better of uh, Chamber there. Still can't quite. Oh, almost. <laughs> and nice. Kaleoth finally does the job. That is going to allow Happy Samoyed to get a rifle. Good fires there by Happy Samoyed. It's going to be tough, though. 2v3 scenario. Yeah, Happy Samoyed will just have to call off. Hopefully get a few picks as they try to leave. Overall, for a half-by round, not too bad, but could have gotten a little bit better. Yeah, Happy Samoyed still able to walk away with a rifle from getting the pick. It's going to put the Firebirds Econ in a little bit better spot. They are down by one now, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and back to... Back to what we were saying before, yeah, it really just that pacing. They played a little bit more quicker that time. It caught the Firebirds off guard, especially for the econ that they were in. And most of the time, they're putting three people on a site. And so it was it was just a good decision to do that. And they also set themselves up great for just uh, protecting the spike. And it, yeah, especially that what that one spot by um, by the door. Yeah, I will say I do think it is quite interesting that wow That's gonna mark him immediately. I don't think they were able to see where that was because I don't think he got destroyed Kaleoth right above you. Oh, and Bolo will get the pick on Kaleoth I think it's interesting the Firebirds are running jet instead of chamber on this map. Mm-hmm. Uh, I believe chamber just Plays the same role as jet, but has just a little bit more value with the addition of that trademark plus Really good addition to all econ. Oh, that's one. Money able to get a pick there is 3v4 now. Firebird's pushing from all angles. Omen will get Coney though. I think we're seeing a lot more synergy now with the uh, smokes and flashes for the for the gets one. Can't get Ow. two though. And the Firebirds will go down another round. Interesting to see. Do you think? Uh, do you think West Coach West calls a timeout after only a two lead? Uh, <laughs> Plum Dank does. <laughs> All right. I called it. I called it. You know, it's it's interesting to see how these guys are are kind of mirroring a little bit in terms of calling that timeout. You know, because usually the Firebirds, maybe either they wait either a little longer, or sometimes a little too mm -hmm. long. So. I, I like I like this on their part now. They saw it worked out for the other team. You know why not just do it as e even if it's just a strict momentum stopper. Yeah, uh, I think it's a good play right now to call a timeout because I I, I believe the Firebirds definitely are having to play to the pace of the Golden Bears mm -hmm. right now, and, and I, I think they need to find a way to slow it down. Exactly, and I think on defense it's it's really important to make it your own pace is to take all that space that you can. And make it your own. The attackers need to come and try and take that from you. You have the upper hand. That's the way I've always seen it. And it's just, right now, we're leaving so much space open. Jet dashing in, everyone going at just at once. The smokes and the flashes combined. It, it's a really good attack strategy from Concordia. So I'm hoping yeah. that the Firebirds can you know, play it a little bit more... Uh, what's the word that I'm looking for? To their pace? Yeah. I'll go with that one. <laughs> one thing I'm hoping to see from the Firebirds is they're holding a little more, like aside from mid, they're pretty much only holding sight. Yeah. I wish that they would take a little bit more of an aggressive start with Jet maybe. Like see, Coney's waiting right there. I would have Coney waiting in B main. In B main, because it doesn't give up that space immediately. It makes them waste some util. Yeah. Coney can dash out of there. Exactly. I. I agree with you, and it, it gets that pressure. It's just like someone else could be in here now, right around that corner. Yeah, and now thinking there again, they give up a main just completely. Uh, interesting to see the strategy here for the Firebirds. Oh, they are able to get a couple that were walking in from Catwalk. No, oh, Happy Samoa just couldn't quite grab. It. Oh, the flash. One enemy remaining. And the Firebirds should be able to take this round here. <laughs> and they will. 
I think playing pure retake was uh, was their uh, option right then and there. And as always, they do a pretty good job with it. I do kind of want to see the percentage of how many times they went on retake. It would be interesting. And you know, when we're uh, we're a big D1 esports program, I'm sure we'll get analysts. <laughs> but oh, as of right I, now, I, it is just us. <laughs> I'm not good at analyzing things, even though that is part that of my is major. Kind of your... I'm figuring it out. Hey, that's all that matters. <laughs> Firebird's relying heavy on Koenig right now, who's got 12 and 8 right now. Happy Samoyed and the rest of the team kind of balancing it out. Aside from Kaleoth, only 3 and 8 right now with a minus 5 KD. But and even the Jets, on the Concordia yeah, side, we see a big outline. Leaning heavy on the Jets. Oh, oh. there's an immediate pick there. They are going to ult to get on point again. Firebird's gonna have to play for retake once again. But with a big numbers advantage so far, five and three. And Plank goes down. And there's the the ultimate there. It's gonna force people off point or to the back of the boathouse. And the Firebirds, oh no, are down to one unless the reset can be done. And Killjoy should be there able we go. to possibly trade them. Nope. Not quite able to in time. It's going to be up to Bunny now. Timer ticking down. Oh. They'll, she'll get it there as the Firebirds tie it back up. 6-6. Six, six. That's a very good half. <laughs> Alright, we'll take it. 6-6, six, six, zero, zero. Starts sides. over right here. This is really exciting. Oh, that's a really close match. Mm -hmm. But I think it's the same thing we've been saying so far. Uh, oh, it's so interesting. It's in the afternoon now. It's not even at night anymore. <laughs> or I know. It's not, it's not Monday night action here. It's just Friday <laughs> afternoon fun. It feels uh, weird. <laughs> <laughs> but, but the big thing in this match so far that we've been seeing is just pace. And so let's see what the Firebirds can do and how they want to pace this out on attack. And it looks like Concordia is going to be putting or uh, using all the resources in different areas, just spreading it across the map. I like that. The only thing giving a lot of space in mid. See, I do like that. that Concordia's already taken more space than the Firebirds mm -hmm. did at the start. It's gonna, it's gonna make the Firebirds have to use more utility to get the same uh, effect. Fiber's playing very passive to start this off. It's going to allow the opposing jet to move up very far. And ultimately, into five Firebirds the moment they turn this corner. Now they're running, and the Firebirds will begin their push to A. Cordia not fully rotating yet. Here comes the Breach. Oh, dear. Tony able to immediately trade that away. Kaleoth gets a mark on one. And here comes Chamber and Sova to help out. I say this is a good time to rotate and... Oh, but as we oh. say that, Concordia follows suit and is also able to make sure that they are still looking toward mid or watching down. The... Oh, a fake rotate. That's a nice job by the Firebirds. Make them play to your pace. You can control that. There's another smoke down A main. 30 seconds left. They have time. 30 seconds left. Just needs to be a quick execution, which can be done with Kony as Jet. Oh, yeah, Kony's still alive. <laughs> I was looking at the wrong uh, bar. And here comes the push. There it is. Slumdank will be able to get the spike down as Kony takes out Big Z there. Firebird's in a great spot now for the post plant. Slumdank going to play for lineup. And now we wait. Oh, <laughs> no. Now we wait. Larry! <laughs> as Kony stands there as the line of defense for Slumdank. Ooh. Kaylee off in a tough spot. Not that, able to get out of that. That was a great play by Breach. Oh. We will see the defuse start. Oh, oh my gosh, and the Firebirds <laughs> will get away with it. Through the process of lineup Larry there, <laughs> as Slumdank takes out the last two. One of them post-mortem. Uh, I always forget we got Larry. 
Yeah, I can never forget that we got a lineup, Larry. We He's... should have a little birthday present for him, and uh, like with that bowling, like jersey on it that says "Lineup Larry." Lineup Larry. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to think of something like that. Firebirds though, up by one to start off the second half of map one. Oh, going two bulldogs. Wow. <laughs> and two Spectres and a Guardian. Up. Trying to force here. Make sure that they take that two round lead. Very good job of the Firebirds with this level of patience. Very impressive. It's a very different strategy from what the Golden Bears were doing, which was so rush heavy. Yeah, it's almost like they're uh, defending in a way on attack and then quickly switching that pace over to attack. Very Great nice. plays there by the Firebirds, especially with props to Coney on the jet smokes there. Because they just did a wonderful job of allowing them to get sight. And now they have all five still with full health and a numbers advantage. Uh-oh. Oh, oh and Happy one. Samoyed will get another. Happy Samoyed able to retreat to point. Firebirds... Doing a great job of taking that space. Coney's gonna move up now. Get one. There we go. Firebirds left with one to go against, and they will be taken out as the Firebirds go up by two without even losing a gun. Now they're playing for that bonus as the Golden Bears should be able to full buy. <laughs> we'll put Flawless on the bingo sheet right now. What, oh, yeah. What else do we, oh, <laughs> what else do we have for, for the night? We have a clutch. Coney got the clutch. Okay. Not Coney. Uh, Slumdank got the clutch with his lineup. So we're still waiting on an ace. Need an ace. We're still waiting on a thrifty. And we're still waiting on a team ace. All right, we got three more to go. Hopefully we see it. Very interesting. As we head into round number 15. Firebirds playing patient once again. <laughs> Love it. Keeping the defense on their toes. My thing is, I think the next time they can full buy, I think that's when you rush. Oh yeah. I think that's when you rush. Sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> Slumdank almost has access to the ultimate. And we have Happy Samoyed still watching mid. Waiting for anyone to peek. I think they're using him for a little bit of an audio cue. Just like the match that we had uh, last week. Firebirds here waiting to push on in. Three people are toward that site. They can lock two of them out if they get to the door quickly. Comes the dash. Jet wasn't seen. The smokes are put down. There's the dash by Coney. Firebird's trying to take a quick execution now. They haven't gotten a pick yet. They'll get one. There we go. One's up top in heaven. Smokes are still alive. Firebirds will get the plant down as they're in an even numbers game right now. Slumdank runs to the lineup spot. <laughs> Fibers now just have to defend Slumdank. Slumdank has access to the ultimate, which is going to buy even more time. Oh, wow. Tony, though, with two picks. Going to put the Firebirds in a great spot. Bunny, I believe, also has Swarm Grenades on point. We've got two, two lineups going on, as this is just a great stall here by the Firebirds. Oh, no, there's the co-op. It's going to be up to Bunny, who almost strafes around it. But Cookie Dough faked the defuse and still has enough time to finish it off. And the Firebirds will not wow. win their bonus round. Oh, a little bit rough for the Firebirds, but that's all right. I, I think just... Uh, I, I don't know what I think. I think it's just a little bit unfortunate that a great initial push just could not get the lineup down. A little bit of a bummer, but it's what it is. Still up it in the lead by one so hopefully that oh and this time they're electing to go b here we go here's the firebirds i'm hoping rush this one that's my hope i, I think i think a rush would be great you instantly make that chamber teleport to the back of point take that space back they're gonna oh, watch mid instead look at what um concordia is doing though jet is pushing up a instant rotation there by Concordia, it's going to allow for the Firebirds to go up through mid. Very interesting spot there by, by Coney. Here. And the Firebirds have taken market. 
That's a lot of space. That's one. Happy Samoyed will get That's two. two. As the Firebirds will take the point again flawlessly. As Happy Samoyed waits for the next victim and is able to take that crucial space back. Now it's a game of defense for the Firebirds. 5v3. Oh! Happy just not quite holding the crosshair close enough. Funny now, just needs one more tag on that jet. But it instead elects to fall back to the point. Coney though, able to get the pick before the breach ult reaches them. And we get finished by Coney as the Firebirds will go up by two again, making the scoreline nine to seven. That was extremely well done. One thing is that if Concordia pushed um, down mid a little bit quicker, they would have found two Firebirds there. So I think that, I mean, that was their biggest mistake because already, already when they pushed in, they took all that space. Yeah. And and then some. There, It was almost impossible to push in without a lot of loss of health or casualties. So that was, that was really smartly this done. This is going to be fun. A little dancing bear. I love it. I love it. Here. I do my dancey dance. Interesting. The chamber's going to be watching this angle first. I think that's good play by Golden Bears. Oh. Going to take out Kaylee off immediately. The Firebirds are going to think about rotating off this, and now the chamber's watching. Just doing the ultimate rotating, going through attack of spawn. Yeah, Firebirds about to get enclosed on all halves there. <laughs> And they don't have... Oh, they do have uh -oh. a Killjoy turret to watch their uh, their flank. Oh, interesting to see what happens here. I'm surprised Happy Samoyed has not used their alt again. I feel... Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, oh what? Uh, what am I now? I'm in their heads. I'm in their heads. <laughs> I think you may... Uh, you may be a psychic. Just a little bit. A little bit psychic. <laughs> Firebirds have to play around this... Uh, Oh, no, I, I apologize. That is Bunny's ultimate to help them take the site. And take the site they shall as... Oh, we got two! Oh. The knights are gone! Firebirds can't get the pick, though. Bunny will get Goosey, though. And there we go! Follow up with Bolo as Bunny gets two nice picks there. Hopefully they can protect Larry. One down. If they even need Larry. They're getting pick after pick right now. Oh, right. wow! Four. Waiting on one more. Oh, dear. Oh, here should comes be Larry. pretty chalked though for Vista there. All right, here we go. It failed last time. And oh! There by Bunny, who puts together a three-piece <laughs> over the course of that round. Very nicely done. Round 17 will go to the Firebirds. Hey, going yeah, oh, there's, there's the timeout. Fire, I was about to say, I knew a timeout was coming because the Firebirds have their biggest lead of the map so mm -hmm. far. <laughs> Which, by the way, is only three. That's a pretty big lead. I would be poor. It <laughs> could be four. Could be four. It could be four. Anyway, how could I have been so foolish? <laughs> but yeah, pacing has really been in the Firebirds' uh, like strong suit so far. It it it's been a, almost completely flawless so far, with that one little hiccup with Larry, but. Forgiveness. Yeah, great, great stuff by the Firebirds. I see the adjustment that the Golden Bears are trying to make with the quick rotations on the flanks. Mm -hmm. uh, they just couldn't execute. Um, Firebirds did a great job of making sure that they were still covering their flanks. And even when they were caught off guard, Firebirds were just able to have better spray control, mm -hmm. had a little bit sharper aim. So I, th I think the if you're the Golden Bears, you got to calm down a little bit. Yeah. Uh, the thing is, your, your sprays are starting to get a little too wild, especially with a Vandal that becomes very inaccurate after a few shots. Gotta play for taps with the Vandal. It's like a burst fire. I say for this is that a good option is that... They, I mean, they've been they've been putting their placement of their agents pretty much at this 1-1-1-1-1 one, 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 all throughout it. So one, or one on B, and some watching mid, and uh, one going for the, uh, the catwalk, and then one just watching A. I do two, two, and one. I think that would be a better thing. And then just playing that time or double down with flanks. Because flanking is only, has not been top of their strong. So, oh dear. Vista able to get the operator, but the Firebirds are now aware that Vista has an operator. So they're able to start playing around that. 
good they're putting a little a little bit of pressure on uh firebirds firebirds will begin to rotate they'll have the brimstone stem beacon down to help them be just a little bit quicker party is still watching b site the chamber is starting to rotate over to a csp volo just waiting for him I'm Kaleoth. I'm throwing that seize to the right, looking for Jet, and the oh. Firebirds just get absolutely annihilated, unable to check that corner. That was extremely smart by Concordia. You know, just taking good space, and like in mid, just having a great angle. If they push onto B, they'd know if they're rotating over. There's a great choke point, and then Jet having the opportunity just to hide in that little cubby over there. Yeah. Very nice. Firebirds still up by two, though. Uh, and with Coney having 25 kills this game so far. Oh, wow. <laughs> Where are they? Crazy for Coney. Firebirds will be on a save round, though. Uh, they will get one Vandal. And Viso will get Happy Samoyed immediately. Very tough. Coney has to hit the headshot. Oh, interesting. Coney now waiting for the peak there. From either angle. As the Firebirds have not decided which site to push yet. Playing a little bit of a default here. Trying to get info. Trying to get util used. Oh, don't peek that Slumdank. And Vista will take out Slumdank as well. A very sneaky chamber. No kills yet for the Firebirds, so hopefully they can just get a few so next round will be easier. Preferably that chamber. Oh dear. Oh no, stuck trying to get the gun out, but luckily Bunny is able to trade that away. 30 seconds left. And oh. down go both of them by Volo in a matter of seconds there as the Golden Bears bring it within one again. Oh, and look at that econ that they have. This is really tough for the Firebirds right now, but they do have money to buy. So this round is crucial. Absolutely. It's a risky business buy full buying this round. But uh, I think you gotta. I think you, you gotta. gotta. You can't let them tie it back up. I mean, you you can. There's definitely a winnable strategy out of it. Mm -hmm. But I, I think if you're the Firebirds, you want to keep that lead. You want to assert yourself right here. Get them maybe second-guessing themselves by having to be down by two again. Oh, that was a very slow uh, recon travel. And Slumdank plays it perfectly, standing just behind it. Oh. Bolo will get Kaylee off, though. It's going to cause the rotation, I think, quickly to A. Ah, oh, but Omen backs off. Happy Samoyed still waiting at AMA and trying to see who's going to try to bite. Yeah, this is really tough for the Firebirds. They're not playing the same way that they did only just a few rounds ago. So what are they up to? Oh, and oh, Vista gets another one. Is They're just going absolutely insane with the Operator. Mm-hmm. They're just creating distance. Oh, Firebirds can't push Almost up without that another fear Operator the kill there. Firebirds stuck as there is a flawless opportunity here for the Golden Bears. Last player standing. 30 seconds left. In optimism, though, there's also an ace opportunity oh, yeah. for Slum Deck. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Very good transfers there by Slum Deck. Just can't quite pull it off. Is able to take out two of them at least. Now it's going to be all tied up at 10 10 as we end up round 21. Yeah, Firebirds have a lot of alts at their disposal, and that's going to be crucial, I think, because I don't think they can full buy this round. Yeah, I think the best thing for the Firebirds is play it how they have been playing it earlier on. And except this time, I just rush in is that they've been playing that really good time game, and now the uh, the Concordia, they're just adjusting to it. And with an Operator, it's just like, even if there is one casualty, you can get that repick off very quickly. 
Firebirds will smoke down. Oh, but I think Chamber can hey. still see. Yep. Oh no. We get two shots off before teleporting away. As the Firebirds will lose Slumdank and Pony. Pony, the top rag, and Slumdank with the lineups. It's going to be tough. It's going to rely on Bunny for that uh, post plant uh, mollies. A lot of weapons at their disposal. That's gonna be a tough, tough defense for the Firebirds here. Oh. Kaleoff can't quite get the touch. And that Breach that Ultimate is gonna allow it to just be up to Bunny now. And it won't quite work out in favor of the Firebirds. They will go down by one again. That was a great strike, but I think they used up almost all of their ultimates it's a little little bit of a bummer yeah wow tough for the firebirds there they do still have slumdanks ultimate if they are able to get to a spot there goes a timeout timeouts called by coney there if they're able to get to a spot where they can plant all right what are you uh what are you saying if you're coach west in this if you're coney if you're if you're slumdank the captains rush b rush b rush b Interesting. i i think rushing b right now is going to be the best thing for them like a site it just hasn't been working out and there's, there's just a lot less space to be played on b where on a there's there's a what's it leverage there's a there's a what's the word i, I can't remember. think higher altitude they're playing from a better angle going down. It's just a very big, wide open area. You have to push in all at once or you're just going to get stopped. Like we saw that with Chamber over and over again. And it's same if you go down mid. These long angles, this big distance gap, if Firebirds don't have enough money to, just to risk doing that. Absolutely. B is a lot safer. You're going through a nice little corridor than going out right on the other side. There's a lot, just a better way to play it, I say. Firebirds here. Uh, I think they gotta start devoting those smokes from uh, Slumdank to cutting off operator lines of sight. I think you can't use all three of them for just a take of the site anymore. Mm -hmm. Especially when Chamber was TPing on, um, ooh, on top of the boxes over there. Oh, and here comes a big rotate. Firebirds trying though to use all the smokes to take sight. And they'll be able to, without taking a casualty, they'll just be able to straight up take the space. Plant is down. Slumdank's going to hide in the corner. Slumdank in position. Has both the molly and the ultimate. Very nice. Great That's a tough break. Off. Easter, though, with the op, is going to be able to get one. Vista picks up the Vandal instead. Oh no. The gun probably peeks through. There's the ultimate. This isn't going to work out for the Firebirds this time. Not enough time. Couldn't get the Molly off. Now it's map point for the Golden Bears. This is going to be really tough for the Firebirds. They needed to win that one. Match point. There's still hope. Never over till it's over. Very tough spot for the Firebirds to be in. I believe they can full buy here. Uh, Bunny will elect it not to. But everyone else will get a rifle. Whew, tough stuff for the Firebirds. Gotta send it to overtime. Mm -hmm. Looks like they will be pushing to B site. I think if you're the Firebirds, you gotta split up a little more. Just a little bit more. Looks like they're playing their initial thing, just yeah, hiding. I think they're hiding from the uh, the, the recon dart. Was well, I think the main strategy there, because Sova has put oh, that down yeah. every time. <laughs> or just playing a little bit more on that. Oh, this active. is going to be a tough thing for someone to peek into. Launching smoke. Here comes the point. And there's the rotation here. They are able to close the door before the operator can get through. Big Z will take out Slum, I mean, uh, Bunny? Interesting. I thought uh, 
Slumneck took out Big Z before Bunny passed, uh, uh, died. Firebirds now in a tough spot on retake. 4v4. Oh dear. And wow. Brilliant execution there against the Firebird. Oh. Can't, oh, can't quite get it. And map one will go to the Golden Bears. That was just such a good back and forth map. Very and back and forth. <laughs> very good pressure and good timing, good pace. It's it's the things that really win you the game. They had a, an amazing defense. And once Chamber got an operator, I think only died once. Yeah, then Teammate just picked it up, gave it back to him. So one thing you really got to look out for is... If you're the firebirds, you now you know you maybe your op play, your play against ops isn't as strong, and that's the one thing I want to look forward to in this next match. Mm -hmm. We're gonna take a quick break. We'll be back in about five minutes, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. With the next map, it will be Icebox. So we'll see you then.
Welcome back, Firebirds. We're here on, hopefully, the path to a reverse sweep here. As the Firebirds are down 0-1 right now to CSP Concordia, the Golden Bears. It's a tough one. It was a tough, it was a tough <laughs> loss. It was a very close game on Ascent here. We're moving to Icebox now. We have Bunny subbed out for Hoaxed. Hoaxed will be playing on Jet. Happy Samoyed on KO. We got Kaleo, uh, Kaleoth on Sova. Slumdag on Viper and Coney rounding it out with Chamber there. Uh, and for the Golden Bears, I can't quite give you the names quite yet, but we have Jet, Viper, Sky, Sova, and Chamber. And they will be rushing down B to start it off as the fire. Oh, that's defense, a quick... But a great starting shot there Ooh. by Coney and is able to get away. Vipers have the numbers advantage. And, and the rotation towards favorite the map is fully in effect. They do have to hoax to get the first pick on Goosey. They do have to look out for the chamber rotating through mid there. And oh. then Vista will get Slumdeck oh. and Kelia. As the Firebirds now having to play against the rotation as they're going back toward A site. Oh, but Jet is electing to stick around. Hoax will get the pick though. And has the dash back. Firebirds in a 3v2 now as they are waiting to see where... They will go as Vista gets another pick. Ooh, hopefully not seeing an ace. I would fill the bingo card at least. Oh no. <laughs> Happy Samoyed just... One enemy oh, sticking around. Oh! Happy Samoyed will Spike get Big down. Z there. Spike is down. Firebird's able to start rotating toward the spike now. Oh my gosh, Hoax gets standing. taken out. Uh-oh. 1v1 now in the next 10 and seconds. There we go! Boy denies the ace and wins the first round for the Firebirds. Oh, that was a little bit too scary. Well, I do like the bingo card getting filled out. I prefer it being on our side. 100% <laughs> there. As the Firebirds... Excuse me, trying to force now on round number two. Hoax showing up, getting two picks immediately. Happy Samoyed 2-0 oh right now. Tony one and one, other two Firebirds waiting for their scratch mark on the board as CSP Vista going crazy still. You saw them go crazy with the Operator and now it was the Headhunter this time. Mm-hmm. Looks like they are all warmed up. But now this time we have, oh, we have Hoax playing on Jet. And now there's the pick there by Hoax have someone right below them. Oh, wow. Hoax will get the pick One there as well. Remaining. Firebirds Smack execute down. this swiftly as they will get the W on round number two. Yeah, that was really well done. A great defensive round for the Firebirds. And good to note, this is one of their favorite maps, if not their top favorite. So they're a lot more comfortable on this one. Hoaxton and Happy Samoyed stepping up big for the Firebirds so far in the first two rounds, combining for seven of the ten kills done so far. This round's going to be a little bit tougher. Concordia does have rifles, so it's going to... Looks like they're electing to go B. Interesting spot for Coney there. I had never thought of that off angle. He will be located immediately and have to teleport away, though, sadly. So there will be no value used out of it. 
Oni is gonna have to go for the headshot. Oh, he can't quite run away there. Oh! Host will get one before going down, leaving the Firebirds in a 3v4 scenario. Happy Samoyed unable to get the pick there as he had the judge. Now Firebirds have to play a little bit of post plant here. It's gonna be up to Kaleoth and Slumdank. What can you do with this? Ooh. They can't get the pick as Vista will get one. The captain will take out one, but then immediately taken down as the Firebirds will not win the bonus. That's all right. Time for them to get some guns and bring it back. So, Firebird should be able to full buy now. Now it's a, both teams having the full buy, I believe. As we will head into, I believe CSP Vista will yes. elect to use their ultimate instead. Only will buy the op though, so we will have an op showdown going on. Look probably either in mid or be long. In we go. I Only like to be that. Taking a less aggressive angle here on uh, on B instead of holding it really play, close. Let's play. Interesting here, Firebirds. It's gonna be a tough. You gotta shoot fast, Coney. Looks like they're gonna be defaulting a little bit. Oh, interesting, Coney. They're gonna be coming from your right. I know you can hit that flick though. There will be the drone. And immediately, Coney is tagged. We'll wait out the, the tag and teleport away. Waiting for that initial push now, Coney. But they won't like come going... as the rotation starts by the Bears. Looks like they're going A. There you go, no one pushing through mid. And now oh, the rotation starts for the Firebirds. It's going to be a 5v5, 5v4 now off of that pick. 5v4 on A site as the rest of the Firebirds have to hold down the fort. Oaks can't quite get the shots down. We'll get the trade though. And Kardoff goes absolutely nuts there. Spike down A. Leaving only one left to beat for the Firebirds. This cookie dough <laughs> will be shut down. The timer might expire before the left. pick. Happy Samoyed says no way and gets the third round on the board for the Firebirds. Very nicely done. And a very quick rotate. Teammates were there to help out and for pretty much a completely clean defensive round. A gift. <laughs> I'm loving the little knife tricks. Yeah, it's very entertaining to watch. Firebirds going once again. We'll see if it works out. This, is gonna be fun. this time, Cordy will be going A. Full pushing. Let's see if they're going to do it with a big pace. It looks like they're going to rush a little bit quick. Deny it immediately with the ultimate. Very smart. Jeff gets the high ground along with the other one. Oh! Mid air by host. There's so many Viper smokes uh, that I, I don't know which one is which. <laughs> Looks like they're going to be rotating out of there. Lisa will get Happy Samoyed in the rotation process. We do still have Kony waiting patiently with the operator. Oh, here we go. We'll see if they teleport. And they'll go back to A. The Slumdank still has the ultimate in effect. Oh no. And can't quite get it as Vista is able to be the difference for the Golden Bears so far. 30 seconds left. Spike will be planted, planted. 45 seconds on the clock. Oh my gosh, Kalia has to check every angle to make sure that this is okay. Firebirds might just play to keep the operator. <laughs> Interesting. Doesn't quite cover the range needed. 
Looks like the Firebirds are just going to give this up, just trying to find a few picks. Last player standing. But and we'll instead of each will be the one to find the pick, as the Firebirds will lose round five. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. beep. Boom. <laughs> Spike will be detonated, and Firebirds still in the lead, only by one as we enter the sixth round. Yeah, I kind of wish that the not all the fibers just quickly rotated off of A. Slum Tank did need a little bit of help, even with that big of an ultimate there, and that yeah. really it just gave the point back to Concordia. Interesting how Hoax hasn't moved from spawn yet. There we go. Finally got the movement going. We got Coney taking that aggressive angle again. Tony unable to uh, have that I've got your trail. spot immediately. Oh! And Tony will be hit with the Sky Ultimate. That's going to allow a lot of aggression from the Bears here. Spike planted. Very nice. nice. Pick there by Slum Deck. Ooh! 5v2. Whoa! Oh I'll say if the crosshair wasn't on his head, that was movement error. <laughs> Oh, and Hoax will finish off Vista there. <laughs> and Vista giving the little nod to Hoax there, saying nice shot. Very good use of the Jet Ultimate. As the Eight. Firebirds will go up by two yet again. A textbook perfect for now, pretty is, is much retake. Is this where they call uh, another uh, timeout? Um, no, I couldn't be right I'm... about them all. I couldn't <laughs> be right about them all. Watch it be a timeout in like five seconds. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Coney will be buying the operator. Putting a little bit of aggression and Concordia will be pushing a site. Teleport's ready. Get out of my way! Ooh, and it looks like the enemy jet has just popped the ultimate. Firebirds gonna leave Hoax and Slumdank to defend the A site right now. Welcome to my and there's the uh, opposing Ooh. Viper ultimate to start it off. Is it's a tough spot for any? Excuse me, my voice cracked. Uh, it's, it's a tough spot for anyone with an operator to really have much value going into this ultimate here. Ooh. Host will find his own value though. Whoa! One, two, One two and the five will take another round. Now I'm calling it. There has to be. They, yeah. <laughs> this is where they call a timeout. <laughs> No? Interesting. <laughs> but the aggression coming from Hoax, wow, it is it is nice to see. It <laughs> just great plays, especially on A site, just bouncing from box to box. And especially with the Viper thing with the Well so the, this, the swamp. <laughs> it's <laughs> nice just nice dropping in there. <laughs> I always forget it's a, it, it's an easy name. I just can't ever remember it. I just called the swamp. <laughs> This time they're going to spread out a little bit more evenly. Two going B. Now three. One watching mid and one going A. You know, if you're Tony, I think you you pull out your classic and you shoot that dart. You know it lands above you every time. Because you're giving up that, that, that space that where you could get a pick and then teleport. Mm -hmm. I think it's all just for the safety, just in case that they're pushing with the dart. Ooh. Not quite able to get the shot there. Too early. Bye. Nice job by Hoax to reset with that Vandal and not keep spraying. One more. Oh, no. no. Oh, jeez. There we go. Able to 180 and get the pick on the opposing jet. 5v3. And it looks like the spikes is going to... Oh, and a little bit of quite able to see it. Pony will get another pick now. 5v2. Oh, so a bit of a free fire there. Tries to catch him going out. It's going to leave Slum Deck on A for a second as the uh, last two Golden Bears push on in. Slum Deck has a really mean angle. Walls go up. Top 
Alright, but it's playing it safely. Kaleoth gets one. Oh dear. Rare miss from Hoax to there. There we but go. But Kaleoth will finish it off. Firebirds are now up by four. I am really liking this. It's kind of like a hybrid of uh, waiting for the aggression. Oh, there's the timeout. <laughs> Dang! I was this close to saying it. I was this close hey, to saying it. You're a psychic 80% of the time. It's a solid. Sometimes that 20% has to come through. <laughs> I'm, not I'm not mad. I'm just, I'm just disappointed. I'm just. It's okay. How are, how are the, the viewers at home ever going to trust me as an analyst again? They if will. I can't even predict when the timeout comes. I still trust you. How are they ever going to trust the word of a word of a bronze, bronze three, silver one, occasionally. Well, at least you're not iron. That's true. <laughs> and Boom, know. we get the roast on the irons. What do you think they're talking about in this time out here, Toner? What, the irons, me? <laughs> Wait, what, what, you just what called you me think, out. What do, you <laughs> anyway. think, what do you think they're talking about in the, uh, in the time out there, Toner? Mainly just trying to get that... Um, just seeing where they want to be more aggressive, a little bit more passive, trying to work on that pacing, because pacing is the big thing right here. So far on defense, that the works. Firebirds, they're playing... It, it, it's a very nice tactic where it's halfway aggressive and halfway just waiting for them to make the first move. It's playing safe while playing aggressive. It, it, it pretty much sums it up. I mean, with Kony having a really nice angle with that operator, it provides that... You don't want to be going B, kind of push it sword A, and on A side, it is just a kill zone. It's a, it's a, sorry, English was not working. <laughs> but basically for, for a hoax, just jumping around anywhere they need to go. Same with Slum Dan creating uh, the Viper's Pit. It is very scary. Oh, whoa, both Sova's. Oh, Sova's both. Whoa! Oh my gosh, and Kaleoth gets two. What a sniper battle. <laughs> Host gets a third, and the Firebirds are in good shape for the rest of this round. So I think that's playing a little bit more passive. Oh my gosh! Working. Spike down B. Great shot there by Coney. As Coney's showing, hey, we can have a chamber with a good operator Listen, too this time. Here. Oh dear. Host will go down. Happy Samoy tries for the spray control, just not quite there able to get go. it. And ultimately, Kaleoth will finish it off with a three-piece that round. Firebirds are up seven to two. Very good defense, <laughs> defensive start so far for the Firebirds. And a lot of econ as well. Look at all that money. <laughs> this is the position you want to be. It's That's where the position of Concordia was during the last map at the very end. You have a lot of money to spare and just a lot of, a lot of runs ahead of you get started now in round number 10 here oh we starting with play, an aggressive angle play. we will see the ultimate from the opposing chamber excuse me wait what happened i had a hiccup <laughs> uh firebirds Getting absolutely uh, rushed down on A site here. Kaleo wow. somehow still finds it. The geometry. Spike five does v get four, planted. 5v3. <laughs> Ooh, that's a nice grenade that's spot. That's gonna be a pick. Happy Samoyed will be taken down. And there's the defuse. I don't think the Firebirds, I don't think that they were able to hear it. I think the Firebirds executed it during a sound cue and They'll still get all the picks on the round as the Firebirds go up eight to two. Yeah, really well done. The retake so far, they've they've been golden, just textbook perfect. This is why this is the Firebirds' favorite map. All right, here we go. Thirteen and eight for Hoaxed coming in round two. Stayed warm throughout all of map number one, ready to do his job when uh when the time came. Mm-hmm. All right, looks like it's gonna be possibly a B rush. Coney teleports out of there. Hoax is getting very aggressive. Same with Slumdank. They're just gonna start trying to pincer him right here. Grenade. Grenade is out. Firebird's trying to slow them down just a little bit with that grenade. 
Oops, rotating Spike over. will finally start to be planted here. And there's the ultimate by the opposing Viper. This is going to be a tough retake. There's one. There's two. Oh my two. gosh, there's two. Yeah, why not just spray on it? Why not? Why not? It worked twice. Vista will get happy some more, though. Tony will get Vista back. 4v2. Down goes Big Z. Down goes the Viper's Pit. And down go the Bears. Wow. Four wow, 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 wow. They just took a negative position, just turned into a positive one. That doesn't get much better than that. No, it doesn't. I mean, we'll say it. Couple lucky shots there to start that round off. <laughs> just shooting into the Viper's Pit. Hey, you never know. You might you might find a fish in there. <laughs> well, they definitely caught a more than a nibble in that last round. <laughs> as they are now up 9-2 to two right now as we head into the final round of the half. And with that, look at that host going 15 and 8, Kalia 12 and 3, Happy Smoy 10 and 6, Slumdank 7 and 4, and Kony 5 and 2. Just yeah. Kony's KD not doing him justice right now. The thing is, he's been watching B. Mm -hmm. People just have not been coming his way. Yeah, he's been locking down B every single time. Does his job and does it flawlessly. It's not always about getting those kills. Oh, nice but, shot, but, but that, 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 that was pretty good. <laughs> Beast able to catch Happy Simone with the utility out. I think that's the first time they pushed up in the kitchen. Oh, I think so. Firebirds, out. with that initial pick, they're going to force the uh, force them off the point a little bit. Maybe regroup, but Slumnack's not allowing that as he takes an aggressive angle. Oh, dear. And will be punished for it. And oh. can't land the shot. It's going to be up to Kaleoth. Let's see those geometry skills. Spike planted. And just oh. missing each other here. Oh no, and came oh. out pinned down. And with that, the final score at halftime is gonna be nine. Uh, to huh? Not it's, uh, it's three to nine. No, <laughs> <laughs> the nine to three score line. <laughs> In favor of the firebirds. Don't give the curse its power. That's how it works, dude! I'm just trying to let the viewers at home know. They don't need to know about the curse. It's okay. <laughs> Anywho, Firebirds will be going over as the first half ends. That number to that number. But it looks like they'll be electing to go A. I like that card. Chambers card. I do too. I want uh, one. I won't lie. The, have you seen the uh, the new like? It's kind of like an Etsy company, but uh, they, they're doing they like, have metal debit cards. Where you yeah, get metal yeah, debit yeah, yeah. I would want to get the chamber debit card as my metal debit card. Because they just take the chip and then they engrave all the info on it, but yeah. you get whatever design you want. I want the chamber one, and I. Spike down A. It, it'd be a cool one to have. I know. I I want that as well. I saw someone got a, a Blastoise Pokemon card. Oh, yeah, I saw that. That one, that one is awesome. Oh, it looks like they're going to be rotating over to B. Firebirds lose Slumdank, the controller. Oh, they got Vista. Oh, and no! Two Spike great down, shots Beast. on Coney and Hoax. Revealing area. Oh, it looks like they're going to be rotating again. Oh! Flawless. Wow. What a nice flawless spot. there by the Golden Bears. That just shows, you know, like, hey, we're going to put the pressure on you now that we have defense. Back to those cards. I do kind of want to get one. I need to get a new debit card soon. Yeah, I, I know. I'm, I'm, I won't lie. I might pull the trigger on that one. How much I might pull it? the trigger on that one. They're, I mean, they're quality. They are real metal. Um, So it is, I believe it's around 80 or so to get it customized. Ooh. I know it, it is expensive, but if I can if find a cheaper got, one for 40, I, you they may have a card deal. that like, well, think about it. You'll have the card until your card expires. Yeah. And then you just have to ask for them to switch the chip out. I have to think about this more. It's, it's an investment. It's an investment opportunity, but it's not an asset. It's just a hey, <laughs> worth the, I'll talk worth, about this totally later. worth. <laughs> No, we can talk about it now. I mean, it's totally <laughs> worth it. 
You know, we could get a uh, new sponsor too. Oh, hey, I'm in. Oh dear. Mac! <laughs> Firebird's stuck now in a 2v4 scenario. Helioth and Slumdank just kind of waiting to figure out where they should head. Exiting the tunnel into the kitchen. 50 seconds left. I think oh, go man. back into into the kitchen. That'd be kind of fun. Oh, someone watch the six. Someone watch the six. Oh, Sky didn't want to turn. 50 seconds. Ooh. Standing ahead. Oh, oh no! The Vipers snake bite again. It's up to Slum Neck <laughs> against three and not quite able to do so. This should mean the Firebirds can full by this round, though. Mm -hmm. Ooh, what a nice gun. The Firebirds trying to add to the board again. They need four more rounds to win this map and send us to the tiebreaker in map three, which. To remind everyone, is Breeze. The Firebirds will start on defense for that map as well. Right here. Yeah, hopefully that they can bring this one too. Well, it only takes four to win for the Firebirds. It only takes four to tie for Concordia. So we will see what happens as we head into round number 15 here. Careful, there's a... Oh! Oh, man. That jet is just doing such a great job. Of staying alive! Oh no! Holy cow! Oh my gosh! Oh no! Another. Kaylee, I'm finally able to do jet in. There they are. And spike will be planted. There we go, slum nank now. Stuck in a tough spot. Firebirds have to play out a very good post play. Oh, no, 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 turn around, turn around, turn around. Oh, and Goosey will get Slumdang. Ooh. After Samoyed gets one, the defuse is half. That'll be tough for Happy Samoyed. Able to get the defuse, can't quite get the spray transfer, though. And that's going to allow Concordia to get another one there. Firebirds will be going 9-6 as we head into round 16. Ah, that's tough. That's the one they needed to win. And that's now it looks the like... Firebirds in a, in a save spot mm -hmm. now. And, and the, PSP uh... Vista now has an operator. Yeah, that always spells a little bit of trouble here. Oh, yeah. So I wonder how they're going to play it now. They have not won a single round so far on attack. So I wouldn't be surprised if this one doesn't go well, we get a timeout. Here we go, we're waiting for, they're playing a bit more of a default, I like it. The Firebirds are slowing it down, they're gonna make them play Ooh. to their pace. Oh, and the That's first one will go to Coney. And the Firebirds start to rotate off. Well, they will have Kaleoth waiting behind. They're going to walk right into the eyesight of CSP v v uh, Vista, though. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Oh, oh and dear. down goes Hoaxed. That will shut down the teleporter, but Chamber's already gone. So rotate out of there. Whoa! Firebirds Did Kaleoth not see the, the sky? I guess not. Oh, that's no. tough if you're Kaleoth to miss an entire seconds. person like that. Puts the team in a really tough spot here, as now it's going to be up to Kony and Kaleoth to clutch against three people. I have faith. Spike will be planted here. Kony gets oh, one, dear. but can't get two. As the Firebirds will go down yet again as the Golden Bears bring it within bring it within two. Yeah, that is a bummer. <laughs> Having that sky go in, go in that uh Oh dear. 
Yeah, Kaleos probably kicking himself for that one, but he's got a lock back in right now. So and there it will is. actually call a timeout to try and bring his team together. Hmm. I don't know what to say. <laughs> All right, fair enough. All right, well, I guess that's the stream. Uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know what to say anymore. No, I think one thing that the Firebirds need to focus on here is, I feel like we've been saying it, like we're, we're beating a dead horse, but it is pacing. You know, uh, the, the thing about Valorant is I feel like it's such a matter of always shaking up your pacing. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's a game where you've got to be unpredictable to always keep an edge. One thing that I think the opposing chamber did really well last map was they were always switching up where they were opting from. Yeah. And so... The Firebirds need to just have that level of mix-up where they're, they're not committing five people to a site. I'd love to see maybe a 3-2 push down mid and one site. That's exactly um, what, I, what I was going to say as well, is that they have not been utilizing mid as much as they really should. Because really, there's no other way to get inside A except going through the defender side or through the attacker side. And it's really nice cutting those two corners off then that site's free. And as I say, we might actually get our 3-2 push here from mid and B, eh? Oh, but it looks like Concordia is going to leave A all alone. Very interesting here. Firebird's going to have to have pretty great gunplay just to start this off. Oh, wow. Hoax will get it going. Oh, but it looks like Sky is going down. Ooh. Oh no, and Firebirds oh. will fall one by one, leaving a 2v4 scenario for Kaleoff and Slumdank. They've been here, excuse me, before. They just got to do it correctly this time. Oh, and Bolo able to dash away from the shots as Vista now begins the flank. Firebirds surrounded here. They got to start isolating these 1v1 duels here. That's two. Slumdank gets two. Only one left, gotta beat two more. Oh, but it looks like might be doing something sneaky. Might rotate, oh no. Gotta isolate the 1v1s, that's the key here. Mm -hmm. Can't be fighting two at once. That spray control, especially with the Vandal, just isn't gonna be there. Especially at distance. So if you're slum dank, I, yeah, I can't imagine the... The oh. thought going through right now. The ultimate will help. And then immediately able to get away. Will not be able to plant the spike. Oh, he still will get another one. As the golden bears are one round away from tying it. Oh. This is really rough for the firebirds. I, I did like the initial aggression. But then just stumbled on themselves. So they're going to be saving this round, electing to full verb, maybe half buying this round. Whatever it is, here's to hoping it works as the Firebirds have not been able to score in about five straight rounds. Mm -hmm. uh, and for those of you wondering that might be trying to tune into our Rocket League match that starts in about a half hour. If the Valorant match is still going on, we will be sticking to the Valorant match and we will be switching coverage over to Rocket League as soon as we possibly can afterwards as Carthage Black takes on Northern Illinois University. Uh, we'll give you score updates as we can for that match as it starts in about a half hour. But that's if we see map number three here, which of oh. course I'm rooting for, especially with Coney making big plays like that. Coney takes out the chamber. Uh, it's a 2v3 scenario for Coney and Hoaxed here. Oh, to your right, Hoaxed. Oh, oh very one, nice. One There's remaining. two. One more to go. Oh. The defused will be able to get off as Hoax just can't quite get it. We are tied up 9-9 nine to nine right now. Firebirds have lost six rounds in a row, but now they finally... Well, they can full buy again. Coney can afford an operator. So hopefully this will turn things around, but as always, CPS or CSP Vista also has an op. Yeah, we'll see what happens here as the Firebirds. Who? I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know what the mix-up can be here. Icebox does feel very defender-sided, so it's it's tough to get that offense going. Mm-hmm. 
Ooh. Staying the push down mid for the first time. And that's a missed shot by the opposing chamber. Enemy tag. <laughs> wow, interesting. They, they uh, chamber does not teleport away. Coney does though. As the Firebirds are down one player so far. Ooh. Tony likes to back off, and the rest of the team looks like they will be rotating over. But gets... Hoax gets caught up by Volo. Very well played by the Golden Bears right now, as they are now spread out across. We do have... Big Z throwing down the Viper ultimate. <laughs> just to deny that space. 35 seconds remain in this round. Firebirds trying to push on through now. And that snake bite is going to slow down time even more as they have to wait for it. Mm-hmm. Tony waiting to see if anyone will rotate. 13 seconds left. The Firebirds might just give this up to keep their guns. 10 seconds left. Bit unfortunate, but at least there's only two casualties. Could have been a lot worse. Ooh. Oh, and Bolo will get the pick on Coney. The operator will be lost. And Jet will even be able to pick it up for the Golden Bears. That's a tough pill to swallow there. As CSPB Ooh. still once again <laughs> has access to an operator. Looks like some of the Firebirds are going to have to be buying uh, something a little bit less than, uh, than standard rifles. We got a Bulldog and a Guardian. This is tough, and now they have a pretty good Econ behind them. Way to get the chamber. You can just get the pick on them now. That's the key. Oh, oh Firebirds can't quite capitalize. This is left on one health. health. Slumdank will sacrifice for the plant. Oh, Ooh. man. The Firebirds fall down to two players yet again against five. Not able to stop the defuse there as the Firebirds will fall down 9 to 11. Yeah, I I don't know what they need to do. They've tried everything. They tried uh, they tried rushing, tried playing a little bit more passively. They tried going down mid. This is really tough. Next best option, taking over defender spawn. I guess. <laughs> I guess. Everything but the kitchen sink the Firebirds could try here. Mm-hmm. But even so, if they win this, they got to do it with little to no casualties. They do not have the money That's a good that start. Concordia has. Tony gets one teleporter down. And Vista will start off by getting rid of Happy Samoyed. Oh, and Coney can't quite get across. Luckily, the teleport field reaches all the way down to the floor. Going up. That's nice shots by Slumdank there to start it off. Tries to go for the wall bang. The Firebirds, 3v4 scenario. Numbers not in their favor. Now it's even, <laughs> thanks to Kalia. Not ready yet. Oh, and here we have another recon dart being thrown. Firebird starting the plant. Hoax can't get the pick. Last player standing. One Hoax is able remaining. to take care of one. Just needs to beat beat out Jet now. And we we'll get it as the Firebirds take round number 22. Ooh. 21? 22. 22. 22. <laughs> oh. So far, the Firebirds have two ultimates at their disposal. Oh, this is going to be rough. They don't have too much money to deal with. They can't buy full shields. They can do light. 
They will elect to go for the rifles with the light shields, and Coney will have an operator. Firebirds, it's crunch time here. Yeah, hopefully they can take this one. Let's see it happen. Immediately gets the read on chamber and forces the teleport. Kaleoth droning down sight. And the Firebirds elect to spread their forces a little bit here. It's an interesting crosshair. Oh, wow. <laughs> huh. I like that. Kaleoth backing off a little bit. Slumdank gets a pick off on B. Here comes the rotate, but Hoax is going to be flanking. Welcome to my world. There's the uh, ultimate by Slumbank there. Hoax will be taken out by Vista. The rest of the Firebirds left alone on B site. Happy Samoa starts with too. a pick. Firebirds up in numbers again. The plant will go down. Slumdank on 5 HP has to play very safe. Main priority is to keep the Vipers pit up. Yeah, it looks like three Firebirds are extremely, extremely low. Vista might just play to save that operator. One enemy remaining. Never mind, they really <laughs> have to get the operator out of their hands. Goosey will get Coney though. And the Firebirds there we will go. tie it back up again. 11 to 11. 11, 11, make a wish. Yep, here we are. Wish made. What's your <laughs> wish? I can't tell you, then it won't come true. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll give it to you. We oh, it looks like a timeout. <laughs> By CSP Skepter, I believe is their coach. So I think mainly is just trying to see what the Firebirds have been doing a little bit differently. And... Just stop in their tracks. They got a few. They got two rounds. Last two rounds. Yeah, but I I don't know really much what they've changed too much. I think I'm defaulting a little bit. Um, yeah, yeah. I think definitely that it, it, they slowed it down a little more. They mm -hmm. weren't going in as quickly. Uh, the aim is just going a little better. I think yeah, relaxed a little <laughs> bit. Aim's going a little bit more in their favor. I don't know what uh. I, I really don't think there's many changes. Excuse me. That uh, I think just be better made. placement. You know, I mean, I mean, we can see in the last round that they waited for someone to get a kill. Slum Tank got it. Immediate rotate. The Viper's foot went down, and that was just just a smart play. Um, oh, but it looks like two ops are going to be going out now. Interesting. Kaleoff mm -hmm. and Coney both using the operator here. Ooh, and a bulldog. With CSPV st still able to afford an operator. Mm -hmm. Three operators are going to be on the field this round. <laughs> Very interesting. No, oh, and down goes oh, no. half the Firebirds there. One and a half remaining Firebirds on the field. One and a half. <laughs> Last player standing. Oh dear. Kaleoth might just try to keep the operator, but it is a whole minute. It's going to be tough. Bolo waiting for if there is a uh, any sort of movement. Kaleoth can't quite land the shot there. Yeah, says, so, nah, never mind with that. And oh, will dear. immediately be taken down. Firebirds, down by one on match point. Are the Golden Bears here? Wow, this is going to be tough. Firebirds need to win this one, put into a tie break. And it's going to be tough. They have some money, but one is going to have to go to the Marshal. And it looks like it's going to be hoaxed. Oh, man. Nervous. Nervous, that's what I am. Oh. Can't imagine how the players are feeling going into it. Oh, I know. I'm not liking this. <laughs> the opposing jet will be popping ult early. 
Oak's able to take a bunch of space. Oak's able to make it all the way to the back of site. Firebirds execute the site. Take and perfectly. No casualties. Plant is down. Hoax will start off by getting Volo, but Goosey will get hoaxed. Tony can't get the pick there. Firebirds. Trying to play that post plant. It's gonna be tough. Oh, oh that's two. two picks by Happy Samoyed are gonna help, but I don't know if they hear the defuse. It's been halved. Oh my gosh, and Happy Samoyed will get another. And it looks like the lineup is out. And the Firebirds will play, send it to overtime play. on map number two. Oh, wow. Oh, jeez. Overtime. I'm just shaking right now. Uh, 5,000 credits for everyone. Full boost. I mean, full boost. <laughs> I'm so ready for Rocket League to start. <laughs> Uh, full, full buy in effect. <laughs> oh, oh no. Full buy in effect for both teams. We'll see who can come out on top here. It is a win by two scenario now. With the boost. Full boost. Full boost for everyone. <laughs> All right. Hopefully they can take, oh, Tony doing more tricks. <laughs> I love that. I, I, I love that bear spray. Just bobbing up and down, vibing along. <laughs> pew, pew. Oh! oh! Tony starts Stay off with a great down, shot. Get CSP big. Z. <laughs> Happy Samoyed now waiting. Saw one. Volo will get hoaxed though. All leaving up 4 4. 4v4. And Coney will get another. Spike down, B. And That's three. One enemy remaining. That's Ooh. the ultimate. Whoa. Firebirds just gotta go against Vista. And if anyone can do it for the Golden Bears, it's gonna be Vista. Mm-hmm. Alright, they now know where he's at. Oh, uh -oh. So oh. Tony with a four piece. Very no, nice. That presence with authority to start overtime off. However, Switching that side. was on defense. Now, now it's off it's on attack. <laughs> hey, Firebirds found success in order to even put it to overtime. I think mm -hmm. they keep it going here. I, I do hope so. Overtime. And this time there will be no wait. There is an operator. Visa will take it, but we'll have no shields. Tough. Here we go. We are watching down point. Firebird's going for the rush on A site. Oh, and they've already gotten on point. Oh, and Happy Boy will get the first blood. Firebirds take the point beautifully. We got two. 5v3 so far. Spike is playing 45 seconds on the clock. They got three. Happy Samoy got three of them so far. Oh, the fourth is Goosey will finally put an end to Happy Samoy's reign. Oh, just chase them down while the dog's out. There's another by Hope. Hey, there we go. The Firebirds are going to game number three. <laughs> Very well done. I... I think they just calmed down to bring I that think back. So. That they really locked in. They definitely seemed like, definitely seemed like, I Golden think. Bears might have had a bit of a nerves on on mm. those. They, they played a little more passive. Oh wow! Maybe look, a little look at that behind their Vista going crazy. Twenty five and twenty. <laughs> Great stuff there by the Firebirds and the Golden Bears, giving us another full game thriller there, sending us to overtime. Firebirds take it. We're gonna take five. We'll be back in just a few minutes with Breeze. Firebirds will be defending.
What's up, Firebirds? We're here for map number three. We got Breeze. Firebirds are playing defense here. You may recognize this uh, composition, though, as it is the exact same one they used on Icebox. <laughs> we will see Hoaxed on Jet, Happy Samoid on KO, Coney on Chamber, Kaleoth on Sova, and, and Lumdank on Viper. <laughs> there we go. We're, interesting, though, we will see a Neon being used Ooh. by the golden bears there they will also use a viper a fade a ko I almost said fade twice a fade a fade a fade fade uh and then of oh, course you'll see vista still rocking chamber here they come rushing in on b psych is taken up by kaleoth oh kaleoth gets two down b does a great job of repositioning might get three oh. not quite able to Got some damage done, 3v2 though. 3v2 scenario now. The spike will be planted. Spike planted. This is match point winner take all here. Firebirds, if you're just tuning in, uh, this started with a loss on Ascent for the Firebirds. It was about 13 to 10. Then we had overtime in map oh. number two, uh, where the Firebirds won oh. in the first oh. overtime. There we go. Finished by Hoax to get it started for the Firebirds on map three. After the Firebirds won on Icebox, they take the lead to start off. Map <laughs> <laughs> number three here. Yeah, what with else? this, that Neon is going to create a very big sense of timing for uh, uh, for the Concordia. Just being able to rush in there, but quickly got taken out by Kalia. Yeah. So hopefully that they can stop her in her tracks. But it's going to be an interesting one. Pacing is going to be a big key player for this map. 100% will as the Firebirds get ready to force round number two in their favor. Hoaxed will get I sets ready down a, uh, a main. And it seems like the Golden Bears are going to push all the way through mid and not be met by anyone. Oh! Happy to void. We'll get a pick on Vista. That's a great start when you're in the pick on Vista. It looks like the wall's going up to try and go into A. They're going through doors. They will make it all the way to A. Hoaxed will hide. Spike down A. Very nice. Oh my gosh, he's still able to get the pick. There it and is. Another by Hoaxed. Are you kidding me, Hoax? The <laughs> Firebirds are fired up. And oh, I, I'm hoping this momentum keeps strong. But this is going to be the toughest run so far. As they As have Concordia. For bonus. Yeah. <laughs> Concordia able to full buy on this one. Hopefully those two marshals are gonna help him out and with that specter as well. Firebirds getting ready. It seems like it will be a very quick push of B site by the Golden Bears. Standing ahead. And there's the recon dart by Kaleoth. Going a little bit slower, just trying to avoid that recon dart. I think it's very smart though by Kaleoth based on how much they're rushing. To throw that early. Suppression. There's there the knight. Great move there. It's four of, them. four of them. Can't quite get Volo. And now Coney's trying to get there. Oh, yeah. Here off will go down. Firebird's just trying to look for a couple picks this round. Just a couple. Will be oh, no. Out. We're taking the dub this round. I believe. <gasps> Oh, Firebird's looking. Oax is trying, trying to get a wall bang, possibly. Lock and sight. Lock and sight. Oh, oh. Hoax's able to get the finish there. Can't get another though, as Volo and Cookie Dough will take down the last two Firebirds there. A little unfortunate, but did get one off the board, so that's gonna help out a little bit. And now they can full buy. Firebirds able to full by once again. Open to uh, take control of this game here. You know, I heard them getting fired up right before this one. It is that there, there was simply two words spoken by the coach to start this one off. We woo. Close. <laughs> Just win. Yeah. Just win. <laughs> words of wisdom. Words of wisdom there. <laughs> By Coach West there to start the Firebirds off. Pew, pew. Spike planted. 
Mike has been playing it. 45 seconds are on the clock. Oh dear. Firebird's on a post plant, but they're not in a bad spot for post plant. That's gonna get a lot of damage there on the Neon. Oh, not quite, but Hoax will get it. 2v3 now. Left up to Kaleoff and Slumneck. We've seen this duo have to do it a lot tonight. Oh yeah, but they gotta pick up the pace. The orb is up. Last player oh And dear. it seems like there might be a lineup there <laughs> being used by the opposing Viper. Maybe a li little, little bit, bit of a, a lineup there. <laughs> Big Z showing that uh, they can do it too. Mm -hmm. Tied up at 2-2. Two -two. As we head into round five. Ugh. So tense. Yes. I love and hate these games. <laughs> I love and hate these games. I love it because it's such good competition to watch. Hate it because I have to commentate it. It's just too tense for me to still be able to coherently think of thoughts, I feel. It's too much anxiety for me. Want to play? <laughs> Let's play. You will see the opposing chamber alt and as well as KO there. It's going to shut down host alt. Planted. The Firebirds just cannot execute on a site once again. They're gonna have to deal with a lineup Larry trying to go back instead Ooh. There's the uh, pick on Slumdank as the ultimate goes down for Vista's Viper Gun pointed out just a little bit. Hoax is waiting Oh, oh dear. Vista stepped out just in time there 3v4 scenario 3v2, 1v4. Ah. Firebirds don't walk away with that one as they now go down by one in the series. A little bit unfortunate. That's three rounds in a row. But hopefully this is the one that they can bring it back. They can pull by and Kony will be taking an operator. Eight and three hoaxed his reds now. Seven and three is Vista. Those are the two to look for in terms of frags. Mm -hmm. That's that's what I'm looking for. Coney's going to be able to hold down a sight line with an operator. Face your gear. Here comes the spooky ult. That's one. the first pick. We'll tell you. As Slumdeck will get three more. Very well played by the Firebirds. One more to finish it off, and the last one is coming up in mid maybe oh so careful Vista stays alive 1v3 scenario so they're just waiting for contact now takes care of the chamber trip oh man Vista going toward door going down halls right now sneaking along 50 seconds plenty of time Slithers down the rope and making their way through. The wonder becomes if the Firebirds know they still have access to the spike. Oh, oh no! That's a crucial miss there by Coney. Left on one HP. 30 seconds left. Vista will try to do it themselves right here. There we but go. Slumdank comes in with his fourth pick of the round to finish it off. That was very scary because I saw that uh, Tony was at 1 HP right after that. Econ still a little bit lower on the Firebird side. A little bit more on Cordia's side. All tied up 3-3 as we get into round 7. I think it's a very fun off angle for Hoax to take here. It's it's aggressive. I like it because the dash can allow him to get away. Oh, yeah. Uh, but also, this is exactly where they don't immediately check as they go in. Oh, and Hoax just can't quite land a shot. Oh, dear. And Vista will be able to take care of them. There's a great And like... Kaleoff finishes off Bolo there. Oh, but it looks like they're going to be rushing A. This A site was left unattended there by the Firebirds. 
Very smart. Oh, Turn Tony, around, look behind Tony. you. Turn around. Ah. Oh. And the op is down. Yeah, very tough for the Firebirds once again. They're left on 3v4 scenario, and the spike has already been planted. And Viper is in the spot for those lineups. Happy Samoyed will get cookie dough. Firebirds just trying to push along. Can't get the pick there. Happy Samoyed will get Goosey though. Can't get another. Left up to two. It's going to be lineup time, I think. Yeah. Very tough. And round seven will be going to Concordia. Concordia will take a lead yet again. Firebirds trying to find it here. They're going to be stuck in a, a half-buy situation. As opposed to the uh, full-buy being enforced by the Bears. With a lot of money left behind. Definitely enough to full-buy again after this round. We do have three ultimates at the... Or four at the ready. One being used by our chamber. Firebird's got to find an answer to this execution. That's one, two, Spike down, three. Oh! Take it four, though. Kaleop does a great job getting it going for the Firebirds to at least put them up in numbers. Happy Samoyed left on one HP, though. Spike planted. One enemy remaining. One more to go as Slumdank takes out Vista. 2v1. Last player standing. Oh dear. Four kills for Volo here. Slumdank trying to not only uh, clutch up for the Firebirds and tie it up, but also deny our bingo card. Oh dear. Oh, interesting. Hey. No! Ace, though, by Volo to bring them, ironically, to round five for the Golden Bears. Oh. Uh, I will say bingo. We did get it. We did, we get, did it. get it. We're still waiting on the thrifty and the team ace. Firebirds have Ooh. a chance at the thrifty this round. Oh, let's they hope win so. This round, they will get the thrifty. All right. Here we are heading to round nine. Firebird's playing a little slower. Coney's gonna walk away. Oh no. Host showing that, uh, this is where I'm gonna stand. You're just gonna deal with it. <laughs> oh, and the entrance should be coming now. It'll come down to checking that corner on the entrance. Whether or not Hoax can get a pick here. Hoax pushes in. Oh, so risky. So risky. No. And doesn't quite work out. Here comes possibly the push inside. Careful there. Telephone's broken. Nice shot Ooh. by Coney to make sure that, that knife gets no value. Spike planted. Doesn't work out though as Volo gets with Kaylee out there. We get a headshot though. I am the hunter. Oh, and gets uh gets some a lot of damage done to quite a few there. Slum Dink is the only one left. Or one and a half. Oh my gosh. Ah, so scary. No. And lineups once again for the Firebirds. Had to be Larry. Player standing. One enemy remaining. And Slumdank will have to walk away from that one as the Firebirds will go down by three now. I say this timeout. I'm with you. I think think the thing now is the timeout. I like that. <laughs> there we go. 
I don't know what they're going to talk about in this one. I think, frankly, uh, I don't know, really, to be honest. Uh, here we are. I, I don't know. I say just better defense, just getting better placement on that. They're giving so much space away and making aggressive plays where they really don't need to. Yeah, yeah, play defense instead of trying to play offense on defense. Mm -hmm. I get you. I say that that is the main thing. Um, and just having those cool lineups like that, uh, the one with Hoaxed uh, on, um, on, oh, is it on B side? Using that, that upper terrain to help you out, I... I think that gives you the upper hand because you could see right in between those uh, the neon wall they were running in, just unfortunate the aim just wasn't there for yeah. that one play. But do that over and over again, and you cut the neon out, you cut off the initial aggression, then it's your match to lose. Absolutely. Here we go though. We're getting started. Firebirds trying to make something of their full buy round here. We will see hoaxed with the operator this time. Oh, I'm nervous. Here we go. Firebirds, I think they take this one. They take this round right here. Hopefully. You want to play? Let's play. There's the ultimate being used by Visa. Oh, and Neon. They're doing a full run. There's a smart play there. Just not executed quite quick enough by Slumdank there to slow everyone down. Spike planted. Yeah, they did not want that timeout to go into the Firebird's favor. Last player standing. Pony can't quite land the shot there. Host gets one. one. Very tough as Hoaxed, I think, will play to keep the Operator now that the spike has been planted. Smart choice. And the round will go in favor of the Golden Bears here as they flee the site. And Hoax tries to look for a pick, won't find it. Oh, Z somehow that's still a pick. doesn't make it out. And we move on to yet another round. Mm hmm. It's going to be really tough as we end to round 11. We're 3 and 7 so far. Hopefully, we can get a few rounds on them. Firebird's able to full buy. Risky, well, some of them are able to full buy. Some half buy. It's a tough one. Hoax able to keep the operator is going to be a big help to the Firebirds this round. Slumdank is immediately suppressed. Goosey taking down Hoax on the entry there. Because the Firebirds just don't have an answer for this crisscross pattern upon entrance. And down goes another. As the Firebirds are left with a 2v3. Last player standing. Oh dear. 1v3 now. And Vista will finish it off as the Firebirds go down 3 to 8. There is a positive we can see from this. Last round before the switch. Look at the score. I'm aware of the score, but I've been told I'm not allowed to talk about the score when it's close like that. Now I think we should start believing in it. I've always believed. <laughs> All right. Alberts. Looks like Trying uh, to get one more on the board though before the end of the half. Mm-hmm. Two vandals, one phantom, a judge, and a guardian. Will be used for the final round in the half. Very quickly, Slumdank is using the swamp. They're getting ready to use the ultimate. Should see every ultimate being used considering it's the last round of the half. There's no point in not doing it. Mm-hmm. Looks like the rotation starts and they will be trying to go to A. Oh, and the rotation. Makes its way all the way to A. It's gonna run right into Coney and an operator, I believe. No, just a uh, just a phantom this time. Face your fear. Oh, and the slide oh. almost gets Coney. 
But gets marked by that fate ultimate. Here comes the swamp. Kaleoth gets a pick on one. Can't get a second. 4v3. 3v3 now. 3v3 is the Firebirds head on into the Viper's Pit now. Gonna be tough here as Happy Samoy tries to work his way in. And the Firebirds will not take it, but they have enacted the 9 3 curse for the second half. Switching sides. Firebirds Hopefully. hoping to go on a run that uh that they watched uh the other team go on. Mm -hmm. On Icebox. Yeah, a bit unfortunate for the Firebirds, but still got some hope. It's a new half. They'll be on attack now, and it looks like they will be electing to go A. I'm out of here. Firebird setting up the positions. Two on A, one watching mid, and two watching B. Let's go. Two watching mid, maybe. Not Firebirds, I'm sorry, the Golden Bears <laughs> for defense. As the Firebirds set up to go A. Take this. We'll see the entrance by the Firebirds already completed. They're able to get to site without any casualties. No picks yet, but a lot of damage has been dealt to both sides. Firebirds get the spike down. And now they're being oh hit with an onslaught of utility. Mm -hmm. And the defuse has started. Flash goes out. Oh, and wow. the Firebirds execute the flash perfectly. Oh, and finish Very it off nice. to start it for the second half. That's going to be a good advantage for them starting out. Let's see what they buy with that. Three Spectres on the board, a Sheriff, and one just going the Classic. Oh, Marshall. <laughs> Firebirds. Try an A again. It seems like A will be stacked right toward the Chokehold. We'll see how that works out as Happy Samoyed starts to look a little more toward mid. And there's oh. the a pick. It's two picks by Hoax to start it off, and Coney gets one as well. Firebirds have access to A site and should be able to execute perfectly. Mm -hmm. No one is there to guard it. They're going to slowly be rotating over one through doors, and it looks like both through doors. One enemy oh, wow! Oh. Hoax hits a nutty headshot there. One more. Firebirds all but win this round. As Co Hoax tries cool to go though. for a 360 updraft. And there's the finish by Happy Samoyed as the Marshal. That, dominant that round. That was very nice to see. Two rounds go for the Firebirds as we hit five and nine into round 15. Firebird should be able to full buy this round. We will see Happy Samoyed sticking to the Marshal. Hey, it didn't fail him last time. We won't we won't be seeing uh, the Golden Bears stacking up at the entrance to A like we did last time. <laughs> that's for sure. They learned their lesson on that one. Starting out a little bit. Looks like they're going to go through doors now. I just had a craving for like a cinnamon raisin bagel. Yeah, cinnamon raisin bagel. Yeah. Tell you what, I want some Filipino food from Meat on the Street right after this match. We go right after? We go right after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right before my Rocket League match. <laughs> did you see they had pot stickers over at the sushi place? I did not. They oh, had it pot was, stickers? It was so good. It was like two days ago. Anyway, first kill goes to Slum Dang. <laughs> it was really good, though. I believe you. I believe you. I'm jealous. <laughs> Big Zero oh. able to take out Hoax and Happy Samoyed. And there goes Kaleoff. Oh dear. Down goes all the Firebirds as the 
round, uh, as the 10th round for the big... 15th? As the 10th round for the Golden Bears comes in. <laughs> it's alright. Thank we you. Got this. I know, I'm sorry guys. I keep practicing. Eventually I'll just be a flawless commentator. Like you all the are, pro commentators. You are flawless. No, you are. No, you. Look at that hair. The chamber hair. Stop. It's awesome, dude. Looks like they're going to be electing to go a site this time. We'll be shut down <laughs> immediately by the uh, KO knife there. Oaks has the ultimate back. Oh, and that wall goes up right before anyone can be seen. Oh no, oh, that's a. tough there, but it's okay. Hoaxed walks away with a phantom. Kaleoff gets cookie dough. And whoa! Oh, as Kaleoff, sleeper pick of the game, I think, so far. You know, Kaleoff's really been stepping off, stepping up when needed. Oh yeah. Hopefully they can wrap this round. Oh dear. That's the one. first pick. That's There's two. the last one. As the Firebirds will take a sixth round as we move on to round 17. Still a little bit nervous, but they got their momentum back. Hopefully they can keep it up. But that was a really well played side. We got a 15-10 slash line for Kaleoff. Hoax is 13 and 13. Everyone else negative KD for the Firebirds. Um, trying to work it toward that positive half though as we head into round 17 here. Firebirds electing to go toward B site. Oh, and immediately getting knifed though. This and Volo oh, with dear. a great pick on Kaleoff. But a positive is the Viper already used their. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear indeed, as the Firebirds are in a 2v3 now. However, most of them are still either mid or one is A. Spike goes down, 45 seconds is on the clock. Tony might pop that ultimate. They found my trap. Careful there. Uh, I don't know, I mean, we'll see what happens. There's two though, as Slumneck now has seen where two of them are at. Oh, Tony will get down. one. All even. 2v2 scenario. Uh oh, Plumday can't do it, and neither can Cody. Oh. As the Firebirds will go down 6 to 11 now. <laughs> Look at Fade blinking. <laughs> uh oh. Dang. One more and a bingo. One more. We just need the team ace. As the Firebirds down again now. Still able to full buy. Happy Smite will have to be buying Guardian on this, but I have no problems. That is a really good weapon, especially in their hands. Absolutely. I think Tony will be trying to use their ultimate this round. Mm-hmm. So this time they'll be going A again. You want to play? Let's play. Tough because four... Oh, there's the start by Kony. Kony oh. waiting for that wall to drop. Destroyed. Larry is down. Pick, oh, oh and runs right into Volo. Dear. Tough spot for the Firebirds to be in now as Host is left on one HP. It's up to Kaleoff, who gets what? the last two out of nowhere. Firebirds, we're hitting up the 7-Eleven right now as we head into round number 19. Uh, what just happened? Kaleoff went crazy. Oh, okay. I, I'll, I like that. <laughs> I think we all do as fans of the Firebirds here. 
Waiting on uh, the push to B site this time seems to be the choice for the Firebirds. Happy Samoyed will go. Again. Oh no! Oh, and what a combo! Oh! Oh! CSP Volley will go. be taken out by Coney after getting Kaylee off. The spray by Slumdank is able to eventually make it through. I say make their way over to A, there is no one there. Yeah, A side is left wide open for the Firebirds here. And it looks like they will. Hoax is about to run into to Vol not Volo. Excuse me. Uh Viper there. There, there we go. Pick. Just gotta be careful of the chamber down there. Oh that changes things a little. Oh, oh that's a tough 2v2 to be in now. Happy Samoy trying to get the plant off. There should only be one shot left in that uh in that ultimate. Doesn't matter though, ah. Beast and Goosey will bring the Firebirds against, well, against match point. Oh! Yeah, against match point. <laughs> thrifty. Another Thrifty. Hey, no double bingo. We gotta see a team ace. Match point. Firebirds, you gotta do it now. Five gotta bring it all the way to overtime once again. Five straight. Starts one at a time. Starts here. I really want some cinnamon toast. This is going to be the toughest one yet. Two vandals, two classics, and a Get specter. But three ultimates. And we're seeing them finally go up through two, which I think is very interesting. We've yet to see that. I'm, I love the tube play. The thing is... With that uh, that headhunter, you could just get one shot landed well, and all of a sudden you're up big in numbers. Plus, now you have access to the back of the point. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a really, really deadly place, but I'm, I'm worried that our... I'm a little bit confused when our defender is... Firebirds rotating through mid. Kaleoth's going to run into uh, the opposing KO there as Hoax will go down. There's Stay the pick by Kaleoth. Who then get oh, the meter yeah. traded away. 3v3 scenario now against the Firebirds. We will see Slumdeck use the ultimate as it's down to a 3v2 in favor of the Firebirds. 2v2. It's up to Slumdeck and Coney here. Teleport's ready. Flash goes out. Slumdank taken out of the... Oh, man. They're both going in. It's going to be tough. One, enemy remaining. One left. Oh, 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 oh. One v one scenario. You just got to wait it. Just got to wait out the timer. Oh, no! And there, yeah, there it is! Because they're on one HP as the Firebirds started there, and they start with their first of five. There we go. Four more to go. Stressful. This is stressful Valorant. Uh, I'm not. Oh dear. And look at the ults. Three for Concordia. And Kaleath is the only one on the Firebird side that has one. Happy Smoid is very close, however. Yeah, very close indeed. And you know, if Coney aces, they will have theirs too. Mm hmm. So. And if they win this, the econ's gonna be a little bit rough for uh, Concordia later on, so. Hope they can pull through. We've seen miracles happen before, and this time they're all going to be going through tube. Man, with a five-person rush through tube. Oh, uh, it's cheeky. It's cheeky to say for sure. Oh. Oh, uh, we're going to smoke Viper's off gonna... the... Wow. I think that smoke does go through the wall, though, so they are seen. Oh. <laughs> and it doesn't even work out all the way in the end. Happy Samoyed goes down. Kaleoth goes down. 3v5. Oh, no. 3v5. 
Gets one, gets two. Now it's a 2v3. Slum Dank and Coney back at it again. They clutched up last round. They got to do it one more time. It looks like they're going to be going over to B-side and planting, but it looks like their KO is already, it's already waiting for them. Oh, scary stuff here. Uh, and now it's up to Coney. Oh dear. Gets the pick. Bounces the molly off of them. And... Spike 45 planted. seconds are on the clock. Ooh. Can't ah. do it though. Firebirds are going to fall in map number three. ADG 13. What a series. Very well played. Good Top luck with the rest of the season. The Golden Bears there. You played phenomenally. Shout out to Vista going absolutely crazy on Chamber. All three maps. We are going to pretty much cut this stream right then and there, though, because we got to get some food because we'll be back in a half hour for Rocket League Red Team taking on, I believe it is Augustana, but I will double check for you right now. St. Ambrose. St. Ambrose University is who the red team will be playing at 6 p.m. Black team is currently playing. We'll have a score report for that at 6 p.m. And then at 7, Carthage White takes on the University of Upper Iowa. So we will thank you so much for watching. We will see you then. Take it easy, Firebirds.